This is actually our first model. This is the first thing we made. And this is our little stump bear. And uh, let's see if we can't get him knocked out. My grandson like finishing these. We start out with a little bit of extra wood between his ears and the plug. So you see I kind of cut down between his ear and the plug and then cut the plug off. So there, kind of rake that little bit of wood down. Then we're gonna separate him from the tree, a little bit of his arms and stuff from his body, just putting a little crisp line there. His arm from the tree stump, kind of draw his paws in a little bit on the bottom there, putting his toenails in. I'd say the most carving on this carving is actually putting the bark in the stump. I don't think I fur on him. Most of them I don't even fur. But I'm just go around this stump here, giving it some bark. And uh, we went, got around there now. Let's see what we're going to do here. Separating his body from the tree stump a little bit. Open his ears up. And a little bit of outside fur on his face. And put a little bit of fur down his arm. And these bears actually look good without putting fur on them. I, a lot of times I don't even put fur on them. And we're gonna open his ears up, I think. Just using the eye tool with a saber bit. Works real good for Getting in, open that ear up. Ear, and just kind of push it up in there and kind of rake it around. And then, and we probably do the nostrils here. And then do his mouth. But you can see, you know, this is just one tool doing multiple jobs here. You know, put the ear holes in, nose holes in, the mouth all in with that one bit. Uh, but that eye tool was too big for this bear, so we're gonna get a smaller eye tool. So this is what size eye tool here. If we'd have used the other eye tool, it would have been too big. Dremel tool with our little cone shape flame bit and uh, I like to go in and just do a little bit of work, taper his eye out a little bit and uh, you know just kind of show show his eyeball a little bit. You know, go ahead and give him a nostril in his hole, nose hole. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I just leave him with the eye tool cut, but sometimes I take a pointy bit and poke a hole up in there too. But you see here, we're just tapering under his eyes a little bit. Just a little bit of eye work there. Okay, well, that's about it on that. We're gonna just clean him up. Yeah, this, this model here is one, I would say one of our most popular, especially the small one. Uh, so they're really cheap, they're really easy to finish, and uh, they sell real well. So, you know, for quick inventory, this is a, a really good model. And uh, like I say, uh, a lot of carvers that we have, you know, youngins are getting big enough to start playing around. This is usually one of the first ones they start with. Well, this in here, we're going to uh, just give them an overall flash burn because for our stump bears, 90% of them get painted black. We sell in Smoky Mountains and uh, they want them black. So uh, we paint them black. But now in your location, they might like them with a lighter burn because you know different places, 
they do sell better light so we we do the light version and the dark but uh by far the black ones outsell the lighter one probably 10 to 1 so most of them get painted black well that pretty much it on our flapping there we use your old brush sander there to just clean all the burn back off and uh we get around painting him pretty quick I thought we'd kind of go over the stuff that we use basically on coloring our carvings here. Our main things, I got some dyes here that I made by Mixall that you can mix with just about anything. I use basically water for the 90% of it, mix you know the dye with water. It's real easy to keep clean in my airbrush. But what I probably use even more than the colors is men wax stain. I like gold note is probably my favorite light color. And then I use fentanyl and black walnut for my dark colors. Men wax make hundreds of different colors. I basically use two, 90% of what I do. And as far as airbrush system, I got cheap Harbor Freight airbrush or you can get them on eBay. That's about what we use for coloring our carvings. Hope this helps. We're going to paint him black because that's the way we sell most of them. And uh, we just got our rattle can paint and going around. Just trying to color him up dark. Try to leave his eye, you know, his muzzle and his uh, tips of his ears. His, maybe his eyebrows a little bit lighter. The rest of them just painted black. Well, this is just the cheapest Walmart paint we get. Uh, we, that's about a dollar can paint at Walmart or Lowe's. And you see, you just hit tip of his nose, darken it up. You know, we just try to keep his muzzle light, tips of his ears white, a little bit around his eyebrows. And the rest of them just dark paint. Now we got him flapped out. You know, try to get any of that overspray off his muzzle. You know, use a flapper, flap all that back out just a little bit. Uh, you have a little bit of overspray on his muzzle and he's, you know, hit a little bit with the flap sander. And I pretty much think that's our bear. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, till next time, we'll catch you on the next one.